Hi guys, in this video, I am going to show you that how we can use Stripe terminal to set up our POS system. You know that in most of the cases, we are trying to accept our payments using the card reader. Uh, you can also call it the swipe machine. So how we can set up uh, in Stripe to accept the payments. So in this video, I will be giving you a pro uh, complete demo of uh, setting up the POS system um, of uh, using Stripe terminal. So the coding part would be of Stripe and we will be uh, running that specific code on Heroku. I mean, I will be deploying that application on the Heroku. Uh, that is a platform actually where we can host our uh, code and then uh, we get a specific link to access uh, our code. All right. So let's start with the video. If you haven't subscribed my channel, just uh, subscribe the channel now and click on the bell icon so that you could get the uh, updated videos notification. So here you can see that uh, Stripe is also recommending few machines which we can purchase. So first of all, if we are interested to see uh, the dashboard, you can see over here that uh, here is my Stripe dashboard. So here I have few payments which I have uh, did before but today I am interested to do uh, the payment using stripe POS right so let's start with this uh, first of all I am gonna search here stripe POS so once you are going to search here you will be getting some links useful links so here you will be clicking on stripe terminal so I have opened it up in my new tab so over here you will be getting the complete documentation of this stripe terminal that how you can use that and how you can access everything uh, in that all right so here and uh, below you will be getting this explore the docs so you have to click on this link and once you are clicking that you will be landed to the uh, complete documentation of this stripe terminal so let's move ahead with this uh, documentation actually we can implement in different technologies so they will have mentioned all the things over here they have also provided some steps for integration but currently uh, they have only javascript ios and android these are three platforms in which we can use they are actually providing these sdks in which we can uh, integrate our pos system so let's see with the example application here they have given the link I am gonna click over here so once I am clicking on example application then you can also read all the details but currently they have given the options like we can get the clone and then we can run the uh, npm install and npm run start so these are all commands for uh, react or node.js you uh, might have heard about these commands that if we are interested to run a node project then we use npm install and, and run npm uh, npm run start so these are uh, mostly useful for uh, the node project so then after we will be uh, getting something like this all right so you can see this interface but currently uh, I'm gonna give you the example so let me click on this example backend so first of all I need to set up the backend so here you can see that uh, they have given example terminal backend actually we have two things over here first one is the back end and, uh, and another one is the uh, front end all right so we have to set up the back end code first so i'm gonna host this back end onto a server so that would be heroku so they are talking about that if you are interested to run this app running on heroku uh, then we can use these specific steps if we are not interested over here then we can go for uh, other uh, things like running locally with the docker or maybe running locally on your machine but currently I am interested to running on running on Heroku because this is uh, uh, everything is set up over here so first of all you need to create an account I have already created an account so I am gonna deploy this so once I am clicking on the deploy then I will be redirected to the dashboard of Heroku <coughs> so if you haven't the account created uh, before so you need to create the account I have already created the account and that is uh, I think logged in yeah so here we need to uh, mention the app so I am gonna write here new POS 
so for example choose a region you can choose any uh, region over here and then I'm gonna write here the stripe test secret key so I'm gonna copy this and paste it over here and then click on deploy app so once you are clicking on the deploy app then you will be getting some uh, response uh, over here so that means this is going to be uh, launched all right so once everything is set up then we can click on view so here you can see that once we are clicking on the view then great we are getting the message like great you have successfully deployed the stripe terminal example backend next copy the url of the of this page this is your backend url and use it to run the example application so now we need to paste this specific url to our front end all right so let's move ahead with the uh, setup of the front end and then uh, we will be uh, adding this link and our uh, code would be running once again so let's move ahead with the front end part so how we can do is like we have the documentation here so you can see over here that the guidelines are like we need to uh, get this example application so once you are clicking over it you will be getting some uh, github link from where you can get the clone of the application into your system so here once you are going um, under uh, underneath you can get the javascript code so you have to clone this whole uh, repository into your in, into your machine so i'm gonna write here i'm gonna open it uh, my cmd let me open that so once i am opening this one then i have to write here cd dot dot and cd zamp cd htdoc and then i'm gonna create a uh, create a directory like mkdir and new pos all right then cd new pos and inside of it i'm gonna uh, write the clone https github.com so uh, the whole url i'm gonna write here and then at the end uh, i'm gonna write here space dot that means the directory should be placed inside of uh, this new pos means the current directory all right so you uh, make sure that you have uh, already installed the github into your system so now i'm gonna click over here and this would be cloning into my system so once everything get cloned uh, into my system then i will be running this uh, to my local server which is like xamp so let's wait for a moment until this is uh, extracting everything to my system from the git repository and then after i will be running this uh, to my local machine so finally we end up with the uh, with the installation that means the repository has been added into our local machine so now let's see uh, if i am writing here dir so that means everything is uh, over here so now i'm gonna run this uh, whole bunch of thing so let me write here npm install first so once i am writing here npm install then whole bunch of packages would be installed into my system uh, that means whatever would be placed inside the package.json so that would be just creating those modules and into a folder and everything would be added into my system so now you can see that all the modules are installed into our system so now let's start uh, let's run the command npm start so this command helps us to run our project onto our local machine uh, i mean local host
yeah finally we end up with the uh, installation so you can see that we are getting this window over here so that means our project is running successfully so now we need to add the uh, backend link over here you already know that we have deployed our application uh, onto or uh, onto that Heroku so we have to copy this URL from here and I'm gonna paste it over here so now I will be clicking on connect and then you can see that over here uh, if you will have uh, purchased the card reader then that would be shown over here right but currently we don't have any card reader so we are gonna use the simulator so here we have the simulator once you are clicking over the simulator you can see that uh, here we are getting some response so that response is just showing us that uh, what is the configuration of our uh, simulator and all the things which are related to uh, our setup right so now we are interested to do a payment so for example here they have constant uh, payment so for example i am going to write here 60 6200 so why i am writing here is because uh, uh, this is actually 62 dollars multiply by 100 means they are considering as uh, in cent so we need to write here 100 uh, we need to multiply the amount in 100 so now i am gonna write here update the line item and total so now everything is set up now so i wanted to collect the payment so i need to uh, uh, i need to select this button uh, collect card payment so once i am clicking over it then it should be so you can see that everything is over here status is connected and all the details are over here so this is online and very phone p400 so means all the uh, things they have mentioned here so let's see on our dashboard that is there any payment we received or not so i'm gonna refresh this and if we will have the successful payment then that would be shown over here so let's see if it is yeah finally we got we end up with the uh, test charge you can see that 63 dollars so if you will uh, click and you will see all the details you know that today we have uh, the date uh, accordingly uh, may 27 so that uh, 3 20 a.m so that means the exact time is over here and the payment is succeeded payment captured so you can also see over here like uh, a statement descriptor and then after yeah uh, read method was stripe terminal so of course we used the terminal and because of which we could able to successfully do the payment and uh, even you can also see all the activities over here so whatever capture activities uh, were done on the way so you can see that all the things are uh, a request to create a payment intent and everything has been whatever uh, we did uh, that is just recorded over here so all the JSON is also over here so everything is uh, recorded and we can actually uh, identify uh, all the key values so that we get to know that what's happening over here right so finally we end up with a successful uh, payment and you know that whatever payment value we have added here you know that that was 63 dollars because we have also added 100 cent over here so this was 62 dollars and then one additional dollar for tax then we end up with the 63 dollar total amount which we uh, could able to see over here right so if you are thinking that uh, yeah over here you will also get the details like uh, uh, you can see that simulator is true means we use the simulator and there would be some values as well yeah you can see that tax amount is 100 uh, cent and total is 6300 cent so that means overall we have a total of 63 dollars 
and you can also see that type cart cart and item descriptor so everything whichever uh, we have written uh, over here that has been recorded and you know that we successfully end up with the integration of our uh, pos system in the stripe terminal so i think that you got the basic understanding that how we can do the integration so if you are thinking that this video was useful just like this video and subscribe this channel as well because in the coming videos i will be exploring a lot of good content which would be helping you to do some good uh, things with your system and even you can solve your daily life problems like right so i hope that you got uh, the fruitful content over here so please subscribe and like this video so thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video